When Joaquin Cortez created a sand sculpture memorial in front of a Mansfield store, he wanted to honor the officers killed in the July 7th downtown Dallas attacks. Yeah, the elements, though, took their toll on the sculpture. So now for Memorial Day, he's creating a new one, this time honoring veterans. Fox 4's Brandon Todd live in Mansfield to show us how the spirit of the first sculpture is actually remaining in the new one. Brandon. Yeah, exactly. Stephen, Heather, uh, Joaquin Cortez told me he was always the kid drawing faces in the mud with a spoon, but now his artistic talent with sand sculptures is touching the hearts of police officers ever since last summer, and this new one seeks to do the same with veterans. Just sand and water. With those two elements, Joaquin Cortez is crafting what he hopes will be an inspiration to military families on Memorial Day. So this will be the Marine logo. The Navy logo will go on the side here. The Air Force logo is going to be on the other side. I'm working on the Army logo here now. This sand sculpture will replace the one Cortez created last summer, just weeks after five police officers were murdered in downtown Dallas. A lot of the Dallas police officers are soldiers, and they've already been coming up here. And, and you know, it was sad to see the police memorial destroyed or whatever, you know, by the rain. But happy to see that a new one's being built and, you know, with being a part of the military. The majestic eagle that adorned the first sculpture was patched up and remains the focal point of this new one. He's wearing the Medal of Honor. So maybe he's like a spirit of a soldier that has passed. It's in the same location on Broad Street in front of Ray's Pharmacy in Mansfield. Everybody's partial to one service over the other, but we're going to try to serve everybody on this one. Military veteran Clint Littleton and his co-worker noticed the sculpture as they drove by. Yeah, I served in two different wars, so I understand that. I mean, I was at the tail end of Desert Storm and then Operation Iraqi Freedom, so hoorah. This means a lot to you. Yes, it does. We pulled over. You know, we're on our way home from work and it was good enough to stop, so we appreciate that. And for those who felt a strong connection to the original police memorial, Cortez says it's literally the heart and soul of this one. The shield is, in, is inside the sculpture still, so it still says the police inside the sculpture here. All right, back out live. What we have shown you in this story uh, with this sculpture is really only half of it. There's a lot more uh, that he has to do with this, including this whole side over here where he's going to add the parts with the Marines and the Navy, and he expects to have it finished, Heather, by Memorial Day. Pretty cool. Just in time. Brandon, thank you.